Good afternoon, Colonel Country, and welcome to another episode of Colonel's Corner. On today's episode, we'll be recapping the Wilkes University football team's 24-14 Week 10 Mayor's Cup game over Kings. And looking ahead to this week's Max Centennial Bowl matchup against Susquehanna University. Our guest today, as always, head coach John Drock. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Dan. Appreciate it. Coach, team qualified for postseason play for the first time since 2010. How excited was the team when they kind of realized that we were going to a bowl game? You know, I, I think we were kind of in that mode uh, going into really the last two or three weeks of the season that we thought there was a good chance that we'd play in the postseason. Um, but uh, it's a great honor for us. It's something that we really, really looking forward to. It's something that we set as a goal early, early on in the year is that we wanted to be playing in week 11. And for those guys to accomplish that says a lot about their work ethic and a lot about their discipline. Now, speaking about work ethic, let's talk about this year's senior class. This is the first time they won the Mayor's Cup, and they went from 0-10 two years ago to 8-2 and and heading to a postseason game. What are your thoughts on them and just kind of the amount of work that they've put in to turn this program around? Uh, you know, I'm really, really thankful to those guys for sticking it out through the tough uh, and the hard times and then obviously getting to benefit from the good times too. You know what I mean? I think that those guys – offered a level of leadership uh, and a level of excellence that the freshmen now will have to raise themselves up to. Uh, they've really set an amazing example for what it is to be a colonel, and I'm really proud of those guys and thankful that they chose to stick around. Now, let's talk about the Mayor's Cup game. Cole Jesmer sealed the game with a 95-yard interception return late in the fourth quarter. So we went from looking at a prospective game-tying field goal from Kings to a 10-point win. When you saw Cole intercept that pass and have nothing but pretty much nothing but green ahead of him, what was going through your mind? I started looking for penalty flags. Um, no, but uh, for me, I mean, it's a, it's an overwhelming rush of um, accomplishment uh, for those guys and, and happiness for the team. You know what I mean? I think that they really earned it. They stuck with it. And those are the type of football games that we won this year. We won the games that were very, very close games, and it showed that we have a tremendous amount of grit. Uh, and Cole emphasizes that in everything he does, from how he practices to how he plays to how he deals with the other teammates. Um, and I'm really, really happy that he was able to go make that play. You know, that's a huge play in that football game that took it from a potential tying field goal to a game ceiling touchdown. And uh, they really stuck with it. And the defensive side of the ball especially, I thought, did a great job down the stretch there. Now let's talk about you personally. This was your first Mayor's Cup win. How does it feel to get that first win out of the way? It's great. In a rivalry game, you always want to have that first one under your belt. So it is a little bit of a relief to get that first one under your belt. And now we just look to build on it. How long can we keep the cup? Um, there are so many other people besides myself that really added to that. Um, we've been taking the cup around uh, all the different departments on campus this week because there's so many other people that have added to our success here. Uh, and we cannot be more thankful uh, for what they do for this university and what they do for our football program on a daily basis. They may not get the recognition they deserve all the time, but they are a huge part of our football team as well. Now let's talk about this week's Max Centennial Bowl game. We're heading to Susquehanna, ranked 15th in one poll, 16th in another. Mm. What have we seen on the film from the Riverhawks, and what do we have to do to come out with a win? They're a very good football team. Uh, they're very, very disciplined. Uh, I would think they had almost eight of their starters on defense earn first or second team all league in the Centennial. Um, they do a great job of limiting you and attacking. Um, they play a ton of cover one, ton of man coverage. Um, so we're going to have to get free on the edge a little bit with some of our wide receivers. And then we're going to have to be very, very solid in our run blocking assignments. If you can get a gap and you can get a seam, uh, that's going to free up some guys like Jaquan and, uh, and Jose and those guys to be able to make some runs. And then we've got to be able to push the ball down the field a little bit. When they're on offense, they've got a really, really dynamic group that runs and passes. They're actually very similar to us as far as being very, very balanced. Uh, they have a multitude of running backs that touch the ball in the backfield, and their quarterback's a great decision maker. So uh, it's a really, really good balanced football team, and we're excited about the challenge. Wilkes University football team heads to Susquehanna University. Kickoff scheduled for noon. Coach, for one final time this year, thanks for joining us. Good luck this Saturday. Thank you so much.